Today I'm going to teach you how to make elephant ears. This sinfully simple recipe for cookies is guaranteed to sell out at any bake sale. Hi, I'm Keelan with Cooking with Keelan and today we are at Club Pike Market. I just picked up some frozen puff pastry sheets and this will help to make your elephant ears recipe effortless and so, so easy. Let's get cooking. Today I'm going to teach you potentially the easiest and greatest cookie recipe in the world. It's elephant ears. For today's recipe, you just need three simple ingredients. Some frozen puff pastry sheets, which you can find in all dessert sections of your freezer aisle in your grocery store. Just some classic sugar, and cinnamon if you'd like. Your puff pastries will always be frozen, so if you want to dethaw them, you can put them in the refrigerator a day before you're gonna do this recipe. When you open the box, they'll be in paper like this, and you'll open it up, and there'll be two sheets of puff pastry. You're only gonna work with one for this recipe. Take off the, their recipes and unfold them. It comes in a three-fold kind of dough figuration. There you go. And all you need to do for this recipe is sprinkle with a little sugar and cinnamon. I like to be a little generous. Next is the most important steps, the folding of the elephant ears. When you look at the dough, you wanna make sure you see a middle kind of point in the dough. That way, when you roll in one side at an inch roll, you know where to stop. And then push down as you continue to roll. There you go. And I'll continue with the other side. until they meet and then you just press together. After that, you just cut into about quarter inch thick slices. I like to use my serrated knife for this because it makes it a lot easier. Once you've completely cut the entire log, place them face up on the baking sheet. You don't have to grease it or anything because there's so much butter in the puff pastry. You wanna put a little bit of distance between each cookie. Next, all you've gotta do is bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, and they are the best cookie ever. Now that the oven is preheated, it'll just take 10 minutes and they'll be completely ready. When the cookies are golden brown and look crunchy, they are perfectly done. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cooking with Caitlin. For more recipes of sinfully simple cookie recipes, please check out our website at cookingwithcaitlin.com.